not sponsored. Irish Spring, hook me up, I got the green. Hi guys, it's Lily, how are you? Welcome to today's video. So today's video is all about body hygiene and plus size women. I cater this video as far as uh, hygiene to plus size women, scientifically, and this is not me making things up, because we have more rolls, more creases, and all that good stuff, there is more room for bacteria to grow, for sweat to enter, and for it to smell. So this is not an attack on plus size women. It's me saying that these are the tips and tricks that you can use if you have any sort of body odor issue which i too have suffered from let me tell you girl i used to be so nervous about having someone like go to the bathroom after i just came from it because i knew that there was an odor these are all the tips and the tricks that i have used i would say in the past five years to get my body odor under control as a plus size woman and i think it's important as plus size women and women of color that we share these things with each other because we're all out here in the world trying to make it. I think the least we can do is smell good as we do it. The first thing right out the bat, guys, is you have to shower. Let me break it down for you. You must shower daily. If you're leaving your home, please take a shower. And here are a few things to do in the shower to make sure you get everything clean. Invest in shower equipment. Get yourself a cute rag and a bristle brush because you would need this in the shower because we have all the extra rolls and places and underneath and the under the belly and the fupa. Is that what they call it? And the fupa and the thighs and under the butt you have to get all of those places and these tools really help you reach there as a plus size gal for me the best soap is iris spray i use this literally all the time this is my soap this is my soap with a bathing soap i also use hypocleanse you're like lily what is hypocleanse hypocleanse is antiseptic antimicrobial wash this is actually what doctors use when they're doing surgery this is what they use so this kills all sorts of bacteria and germs and fungus whatever might be living on your body again because you have more creases bacteria grows from your sweat i use that as a bathing soap and a face wash my final step in the shower is that i use yep epsom salt and this is not any like fancy one literally this is a dollar from dollar tree just regular old epsom salt this whoo any odor you have let me tell you two tablespoons in a small cup and you mix it with hot water not all the way so that it melts you want it to be kind of grainy i take that solution it'll be kind of clunky and i literally scrub under my armpits under my breasts under my neck under my stomach uh between your butt under your butt and especially your thighs where you chafe and it makes that sort of like mud ball it gets it all off if you really want to get a good clean i would probably take half a pack of that and soak in it uh while you're in the tub and that when you get out of the tub you'll see all of the dead skin and the oh everything that just hangs out on your body uh, that gets it off so you can either soak with it in the tub not every day or you can use it daily as a body scrub okay you made it out the shower first thing i do is deodorize my go-to will forever be <laughs> degree motion sense work oh my god this is the three layer odor protection i know you probably think i just I'm just horrible smelling, but this this keeps me good. I love it, I love this, and the stress one, it's really good. It's like it kicks in when you really, really need it, and it's not scented. As a plus size woman, I don't really wear anything that's scented scented. Uh, we've all seen the meme of the girl like putting the deodorant under her bra or under her breast, and people are like, oh, people do that? Yes, fat women do that. We gotta keep it together in the summer. And I have done that all this time, and behold, degree saved us so this is the degree three layer odor protection <laughs> because that's what i need i love it and it's a spray so no longer do you have to use the uh stick you can just spray i always spray a little under my neck because i tend to get perspiration there uh under the boobs under my stomach and on the sides of my thighs you use this and your and the chalk stick goes under your arm dually protected dually 
Last but not least, I put on lotion. Because I'm not a fan of scented items, I use this. This is the EIR or Air NYC, and this is the Arnica Cooling Butter. I love this thing. It's so good. And actually, um, you use it, and it's so soft and smooth. It's all organic. And what it does, it actually helps with any muscle pains you might be having. So I use this all the time, especially for my tattoo. It really works for me as far as lotion. The next Next lotion that I use is always St. Ives. The St. Ives oatmeal for me always works the best and this works great. It's very hydrating. All right guys, those are my tips and tricks and tools to helping you smell your best this fall. If you have any tips or tricks for plus size women as far as keeping their body odor uh, subdued and feeling our best, leave it in the comment section below. I would love to read them. You guys know you can always find me on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Twitter fiend now. And my Twitter is more about activism, immigration, and politics. So if you're into that from the perspective of a black immigrant, let me know. Follow me on Twitter. My Instagram stands as it. So follow me and I'll give you a follow back. Thank you so much for watching this video. And don't forget, we lose ourselves in the things we love, but we find ourselves there too. Bye guys.